Coming up Friday is the fourth annual Columbia County CTAE Workforce Showcase and Competition, a unique day of various skills being taught in area schools. With us is Internal Services Director Leanne Reese and Public Relations Manager Cassidy Harris. Thank you, ladies. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming. Nice to have you. This event is uh, around the corner. Okay, we're talking Friday. Before we get into it, let's just talk about what CTAE stands for. <laughs> it stands for Career, Technical, Agriculture, and Education. Back, back when I was in high school, we called them electives. You know, you took <laughs> an elective. Right. Now that's the now CTAE we're talking. pathways. <laughs> and what goes on at this showcase? Well, we decided several years ago to hold this competition for area students to showcase their skills through these programs. So there is a competition phase with each of the different pathways, and I think there's approximately 15 different pathways. Um, so we have a competition that is judged, and then from that we have an award ceremony and announce the winners um, of each of the competitions. And why is it so important, you know, to hold an event like this? Well, we decided a few years ago, I think the first one was held in 2021, um, just to have a local competition. A lot of these students have to travel regionally and to state competitions. We wanted to give them a chance to showcase their talents locally, where their parents could come, where local businesses could come and do some recruiting. And uh, several students have gotten jobs and scholarships uh, because of this competition. Um, so that's why we decided to do it. Okay, and Cassidy, how did this get its start? So uh, the county manager, Scott Johnson, gave a directive to all of the division directors and asked them to come up with something new that would positively impact the community and how could we expand our reach. And so she, her division came up with this showcase and it started with just automotive to begin with. So we only did the automotive pathway, the very first competition, which showcased about 30 students. And then from there, it grew to multiple pathways, the 15. So each division took its own unique perspective like water utility did there own thing and this was internal services so they wanted to be able to showcase the local talent to the businesses and the parents and show how it doesn't necessarily take a four-year degree to be very successful in life and then also come back and work in the community yeah. that's really nice and what is it like seeing that you know holding this event is helping so many kids in our area better their future what's that like it, it's absolutely amazing, actually. Um, we've grown from, like Cassidy said, from 30 students to 300 students. Mm -hmm. um, just seeing the excitement in, in their, their eyes when they get to show the skills and the things they've been working so hard to achieve, and then to have the businesses come out and speak with them and, and just offer them encouragement, offer them jobs, showing them what future careers they could have beyond high school. And uh, if students or parents are interested in, in getting more information, where can they go? I would encourage them to go to the county website, ColumbiaCountyGA.gov. You can find information there or you can email public relations at ColumbiaCountyGA.gov. If your business is interested in coming and participating and maybe interviewing the students or just seeing how they um, demonstrate their skills. Ladies, thank you so much. And we have all of that info on your screen. Cassidy Leanne, right. thank you. Thank, thank you for having us.